incumbent Democrat, mm -hmm. and he's running against another carpetbagger, Moreno, who is someone who doesn't really live in Ohio. Of course not. Well, he's got house. He's got the stuff you need to have, but it's not his state. He just got a great big old huge feeling to start some incense because we're going in to Ohio. And I don't know what the heck that was about, but I don't know. We're going to do it just because I felt it. I've learned to just do it when you feel it. <laughs> this is my life is like a board game and they do look like sections off the um, uh, Monopoly board. Okay. And Sheila's <clears throat> clearing out the bad spirits from all of the well yeah well we got Ohio coming mm -hmm. Ohio's always been okay so people who live in Ohio don't take offense to what I'm just going to say please just kind of take with a grain of salt I've been through Ohio mm -hmm. and every time I get the creepiest feeling ever going through there I'm not sure what it is. There was a lot of Indian land that was heavily fought for in Ohio. There could a lot be, of conflict. Yeah. It's just like the creepiest. I mean, you drive That's in, crazy. you're going, oh. But people I mean, love even Ohio. Even among the tribes that were there that stayed, they had a lot of conflict just between the tribes, much less when you get the white guys in there. Okay. You know, it's like those haunting shows when you find out your house is at the edge of a cemetery and it's on top of an Indian burial mound. So all okay. right. Here we go. Ohio. If you already got yours down, go for it. Okay. Um He's a Knight of Cups. He's a King of Swords, and he's had the Four of Pentacles. It's been he's been having to hold on tight on this avenue, but he's a provider of logic and impartial judgment. That's really true about him, and he's he's a very affable guy. He's he's a good guy. This guy came in from outside to, to be part of this race. It's through development of contracts. He's got the Page of Swords. But his out card is the heavy burdens, the nine, the ten of wands. So I think he, I, reading these cards, he got the happy warrior up here, and he got the guy who did it because somebody talked him into doing it. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be Brown, but it's been a hard race for sure at Brown because this guy has a ton of money. Yeah, I think um, Brown has strength and power and courage here. Yeah, yes, he does. So I ha also have the two of swords, the decisions to be made. I also have the five of pentacles, which is awareness. They're just, oh, they're very aware there in oh, Ohio. Oh yeah, they know. Yeah. So then I have, then I have down here for the Republican, which is the seven of wands was he's in defense. Mm -hmm. He has determination here. He, he does have courage to be there and he, he gets a will of fortune. I'm like, oh crap, the will of fortune. But what is coming with the will of fortune is the five of swords. The conflict so the mm -hmm. conflict which he has an overinflated ego mm -hmm. and he he thinks that he's gonna win because it's ohio and okay. it shows people are that's where the five of pentacles the awareness is coming in for the people remember i'm reading on mm -hmm. what the people are thinking and what they're deciding right. the power so they're, the, they the power see the state is not behind him no even though ohio's a republican but state. he has an over deflated e ego they see yeah. him like he they see his his over deflated for what he is yeah his karma his five and the five of swords they're they're, just, they're like yeah so anyway okay but i okay. do think that brown's probably going to get it Good. although although the people mm -hmm. haven't been totally decided they're still no. thinking I don't know when did early do they do early voting in Ohio? I don't know. Yes. Okay. 
Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Casey, Casey's gonna is, get it. Bob Casey is a very nice man. Casey's and I don't know, who, I don't know anything one way or the other about McCormick, except that this is one of the seats that, if you believe those awful polls, it's really, really close. Yeah, Casey's gonna get it. I'm just calling it right here. Okay, let's see what this card. Let's see. Let's put the cards down. I, mean, I know. It's... I know. We got a pattern going, girl. So. Well, my cards came out Casey, but the story I get is it's been, a, it's been, it's been really, really hard on him to have so many people not recognize how much he's done for the state. He's got joyous home gardens, the four of wands, and there's been, there's just a lot of indecision in the people in Pennsylvania about them, but the guy he's against is wearily defensive. He's very defensive. He has he has some problems with materialism and he doesn't have the intuition and the the high priestess is not behind him. So what'd you get? Well, I got for him the hermit for Casey, but they mm -hmm. it's how the people are seeing him. They see him introspective. Mm -hmm. They see him in sight. I also got the ancient ritual um for him, he the ancient ritual means that they're going to continue on with the same person because it's a ritual. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what people are going to do. He's a good one. He's been mm -hmm. here. We know his name. We're going to continue on. Uh, the Knight of Cups romance. They wrote, you know, the the seduction of the of the guy. They mm -hmm. like. Him. They really like him. Here he. I get down here for the um for the Republican. I get I get charity, and I get um charisma. So he is he is appealing to the republican party however there's not enough of them that are going to to like they do the republicans really like this guy but i get death mm -hmm. so so for the republican just put it and we don't mean physically dying we mean of course changing from the plans you were having i get ending of his of his, of his uh career of his mm -hmm. His, uh, oh, next one's I love Senator Whitehouse. I met him when he was running for the first time. Yeah, I met him at a luncheon and I ended up sitting next to him. And he was absolutely fascinated because there were more voters in Dallas County than there was it was in his whole state of Rhode Island. He'd walked to every home in Rhode Island. He'd been out working it for a while. He's the one that wants to get the Supreme Court. I know he's been he's been on this dark money thing for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rhode Island. Why I can I can call it now, but we'll let the cards. Talk. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it up. We'll just take a chance on it. Yeah, and he's got the wheel of fortune. Man, he's gonna make it. The other guy got the devil. He he got put in there for to try and he had a whole lot going for him. And he should go back to what he really likes to do, what he's passionate about. <laughs> this high priestess thing throws me all the time. High priestess is it is like this secretive yeah. stuff. Well, I told you when she shows up in my readings, I always have to read that something's going on. It won't let me see. Yeah. That always sounds like a cop out when it's on someone's long reading. So. Mystery just means that there's rearrangement going on. Mm -hmm. That. I've got that. He's really good. He's he's interested and he's still enthusiastic about what he's doing. He really wants to move projects forward and he's on the, the upside of the wheel of fortune so that's Ask, yeah that's yeah. white house whoever's yeah. running against him uh got talked into it realizes now they did the wrong thing abundant legacy avenue they 
they have a lot and they have a lot to go back to. But and they're just not passionate about the politics. You gotta really want to do this. Right. By the end of a campaign, you just it people are in sense. <laughs> Well, I, too, also got the Wheel of Fortune for White House, and then I got the King of Swords, the Discipline and the Power and the Truth, and I got the Two of Pentacles, which is balance. So he's definitely there. They see mm -hmm. him good. They see him as a balancer. They, they like, really like yeah. him. However, the Republican here, you know, the Four, the four of Wands, the, the, the community is seeing, seeing this Republican as a mystery. Like, he's not being outright forth you know like telling the not truth he's not being who he is he's not do you know what i mean they see him as like a secretive little person uh -huh. and because i also get the page of cups which he's a dreamer they're like you you're you're dreaming if you think you're gonna win against this guy you know what i mean the the, the republicans okay. there don't even the people in the rhode island itself says eh, you think you're you're dreaming if you're gonna be able to win against him kind okay of. um tennessee is Johnson against Blackburn. Blackburn is the incumbent. Johnson is the woman who's challenging her. Johnson was one of the three legislators that they threw out of the state house last year. They, they were the Tennessee three, yep. two African-American males and her, and they let her stay and they, but they threw the boot of the black, the African-Americans out and they've gone back and won the two Justins um and one of them that both of them won their seats back because they had to have special elections but she took the fame she got from taking the stand about gun control they had a they tied up the house after that grade school got shot up that's who johnson is blackburn yeah. was is the most trumpy person you've ever met that isn't trump so with the absolute worst hairdo i've ever seen in my life. i know <laughs> Good night. I mean, I couldn't make, I couldn't even make a a, a worse bird's nest if I could, you know, if I tried. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's got to be something hidden in that hair. That's got to be something. Okay. Well, the cards are more positive on Johnson. They're the King of Pentacles, provider of prosperity and power, Six of Cups. People, she appeals to people's sense of family and wanting to believe in families and a messenger of impulse and opportunities. She's she's moving. She's got the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords on her side. Blackburn has something shady. <laughs> she's got something shady about her. She's anxiously stressed out and she's just waiting patiently to see what happens. I think she's fighting as hard as she can, but she never had to fight before, so she doesn't know how. I'm going to give it to Johnson because I really want her to win. Yeah, I don't know either. I get I get that the, um, I, I get her the King of Cups. Like, they see her not as a woman for some reason. They don't see her. They just see her as a Democrat, and she's definitely connected to the to the Justins. Um, mm -hmm. they have a compassion for her and they see her as balance. Of course, the Democrats really like her. The four of wands, the community likes her. They can they celebrate, you know, the community. And then I get the hangman, mm -hmm. which is, which is some, some, I don't think the hangman really says a whole lot for her, but I mean that they, they want a difference. They want to change. They, she sees something different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They do see her that way, but Rat's Nest, she gets Ace of Swords, the clarity. Mm -hmm. Meaning if they if, know who she is. If the racist people have to pick, they have to pick the white Republican. You yeah, know I know. I, mean? well, I put I put that I picked her. I picked Johnson and you and I really come out as an equal on it could be either one or you want make yours of the R. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm throwing some more cards. Um, okay. I get Blackborn. I, I get the Democrat success. <laughs> so that's weird. She's a recycled. Um, oof. You know, the people there really want her to win. 
They really, yeah, they don't want really their kids going to school and getting shot. Do what? They don't want their kids going to school and getting shot. No, and they Tennessee. also are one of the states that's picked up some of the heaviest anti-abortion stuff. So, well, the most of the the ten, ten, the thing about Tennessee is most of those people do not vote. Well, That's the problem. Maybe. They have the hollers there. They have the really poor people there, and they 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 could care less about what the Republicans or the government is doing. They're just trying to survive and feed their kids, and they don't give a shit. They don't care. Well, they may more. I think the caring is going to be more because this hits closer to home. Okay, now we get to do my state, Texas. Yeehaw! It's my Colin Allred against Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is the incumbent. He's a Republican. I just mixed my cards all the way up. So we'll see what, what comes up forward. Ooh, Ted's upside down in two of them. And Colin's upright in all three. Um, we've got Quick Communications Gardens, the Eight of Wands, that there lots of information coming out of them. Messenger of Impulse and Opportunity, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords would be a good description of Colin's temperament and how he really works with things. Soulmates and Connection Place, he's making it. He's got the Two of Cups as his out card. For Ted, we've got a Tombstone upside down, which is death. We've got the Fool upside down. People just don't see, they want him to go. And there's a lot of people who would only vote for him because he's Republican and for some nostalgia, but they've never, Beto was really close. Last time, I think Beto won, not to sound like a Trump person, but um, but they had taken 350 name, 350,000 names out of the Houston area and Cruz only won by 100,000, so figure it out. What you got? Weird stuff. The, um, the Democrats worried. Mm -hmm. he's, he's worried about um, the, the, the cheating and the betrayal. Mm -hmm. This is, and so are the people. They want him to be the king. They want him to win. But the people are literally worried about the cheating that the Republicans do. I got the two of swords for, for Cruz. He doesn't have it locked in. He doesn't have it down. No, he's or making. Yeah, hang on. I mean, people are making some serious um, decisions about this guy. And I also, get, I also get the six of pentacles, which is inverted, which is he's in debt. He's very selfish. The people see him as you know, one sided charity. They they do not see him in a, in a good light. Um, I also get the seven of pentacles, though, with a sudden gain. So something happens. Um, I think the lying and the cheating, the betrayal and stuff like that. I don't know. They just nobody trusts the the uh the the voting in texas yeah within the system we don't trust the voting no but i do get him ascending and floating to the top the democrat i okay. do get the opening the opening comes for the democrat and i also see the branching out so i do think that this guy does have a good chance i'm going to call it for um aldred which is a very dangerous spot to be but i'm going to call it for him yeah I really am. I'm going to, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't even seem right. Our brains just don't even work that way because it's well, Texas. Sheila, do you know that between the 1st of January this year and September 1st, 585,000 new voters came on the rolls. These are people who had never been on the rolls. They're not got counted in anything anybody's polling. And the vast majority of them were women. 
think women are going to vote for Ted Cruz? God, what a creep. Well, if all of the people, all the young people in uh, Texas get registered to vote, they're screwed. There's and Beto's done Texas. a really good job of working with the youth. Yeah, there's one okay, thing we're about... Okay, we're going to go to Utah. Okay, well, one thing about Texas is, is they're very Christian, right? No. It's actually a state with less religion. That's not the problem. The problem is, yeah, the church they have is the one that, well, they have the white races, but they also have the, even they also have the Catholics who were so against Roe v. Wade. Well, they're not motivating those folks with anything. No, well, where I was going with that is Texas, especially 20 years ago with everybody, all the young people that are vote, you know, could vote and register to vote. Texas has always been big family motivated. They have a lot of it's kids. It's changed a lot. We've had a lot. Well, we've had a lot of people move in from Colorado. <laughs> well, that's because they're so sick and tired of blue Colorado. You're getting all of our Republicans. <laughs> Yeah, but they get here and they think they've been told how this is such paradise. Yeah, and then they get the property tax bills. Yeah, and it's more their property tax bills more than their their state income tax bill would have been. Yeah, they're not happy. They're also not happy with the schools and the roads and the cities are very crowded because, um, especially the ones that move to the Austin area, they're very just upset. I hear. Okay, so we have you. We have Utah. It's Glitch and Curtis, and they're both new. Okay. Oh well, yeah, I'd say, damn, that sucks. Place if I was in Utah too. So. Actually, the Democrat has a slightly better chance, but I don't think. I don't see a clear pattern for either one of them. Neither one of them is going to swoop in and take the day. The Democrats have been having difficulty getting their message out. And I they that's the five of cups. They they've been in put in a hard place. And they have but they've gotten rid of some of their burdens by working on what they've been working on. The Republican has had a lot of trouble developing any kind of enthusiasm about themselves. They're, the moon is upside down. I think they're really kind of um, depressed about it. But they have a lot. They must one. This one must be more much more Mormon than the other one. But the Curtis. But it, neither one of them is excited about what's happening here. Or the universe isn't excited about letting us know who's going to win. Well, the Democrat here, I have the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands, both of the, for the Democrat, but I also get the inverted charity. Lack of control. They're they they're not they don't really trust the the Democrat, even though they see the Democrat as mm -hmm. somebody who can who can protect the the women, and he seems to be the Knight of Wands. Like mm -hmm. he looks like a leader. Hang on a minute. He looks like a leader. This, that, and the other. However. Um, the Republican is throwing some magician like he they 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 see him as like a player. I get the death, which is inverted, which is unable to move on. I get the Knight of Swords, which is can't express himself. So they're they don't they don't care for the Republican either. They're both losers. I mean, in the eyes of the public, it's it's going to be a hold your nose and hit your ballot. Yeah. They, they don't they don't really see the Republican as stable either. It's that mm -hmm. weird. Well, I put it as an equal race. We couldn't come up with one. Oh, we're going to Vermont. Vermont. Going to see Bernie. He's going to get. And come on, we Bernie's going to be in the first column because he caucuses with the Democrats. Yeah, they're not going to let go of Bernie. And and he's running against someone named Mallory. Yeah. So far, we're doing pretty good with the, with the Democrats. 
Yeah, they're doing much better than I thought they do. But that could be because, you know, also some of our own vibrations carry through in here. So, And there were more Democrats having to defend seats than Republicans, so. A lot of them are in really safe spots, though. Hmm? And the, the Democrats are in safe spots. No. Not, not all no. of them, but I'm just no, saying. No. A lot of them are in safe mm -hmm. spots. That's what I'm saying. Oh, this guy got the high priestess upside down again, the Republican. I'm going to say, too bad, person running. They're beginning to... They're, Bernie would like to be able to move to do something else, but he can't figure out what it should be. So, but he's a messenger. He's got the Knight of Cups. He's he's enticing. He gives them the message they want. And he's sort of very much in line with the constituency that he has. The Republican has the darkest before the dawn. <laughs> Ooh. And the high priest is upside down. And I'm taking that to be like, getting the nine of swords that means a loser and uh but they persevered they've really tried to run a good campaign but they're just just running against too much yeah bernie is for the people they love him that he they think mm -hmm. he's a fool but they love him mm -hmm. he's the one that you know the free spirit that's what he mm -hmm. is to them is the free spirit and then the page of cups the creative beginning, you know, they really like him. I get the seven of cups for him. They're, he's inspiring. He's imaginative. They really like him. Now, the the uh, Republican's a little different here. The Republican, uh, the first card I get is loss and grief. But I also get the wheel of fortune. But it, it's like, it's like karma versus the, like his destiny is to lose is his karma. Right. And then we have the two of wands where he's looking for future planning on he's on to the next. It's almost like he's on to the next thing now. He knows he's not going to win against Bernie. Mm -hmm. He he's he has lost interest in the race. Yep. Okay. And the next one is Virginia, where it's the governor tried to take a bunch of names off the polls. That's what Trump was whining about. The DOJ came in and said, "Nope, you can't take those names out because." It's within 90 days of when the election is. And uh, Trump had a big boo-hoo on the, the thing where he ended up standing for 38 minutes dancing to Ave Maria and YMCA. That's a strange that was music. Strange. He was sundowning. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any sun upping in that man. Anyway, it's Kane who was... Hillary's uh, VP choice, and the person he's running against name is C A O. Is that cow? Do you think? Well, Tao, like the Tao. So I'm gonna say cow, like the uh -huh. Tao. You know how the Tao is T. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm gonna say maybe Tao or yeah, Tao, something. Like that. Somebody will correct us. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Virginia. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's not good, Kane. Oh well. Oh. The this may be a big turnover if my cards are right. Yeah. I got the R. Because Kane has the four of wands reversed and the uh, and he's it's not been a very restful time for him since he's been back in office and supporter of ambition and business success he's had people behind him but man the republicans got great cards they're getting rid of some heavy burdens that they've carried they've got the star right side up and they're seen as more of a provider of emotional security. And if the Virgin and if they've been able to play with their voter rolls enough, that could be a real problem. I agree. You got it. The Democrat doesn't look too too hot in this one either. I do have the juggling of the finances and the hangman, which is, you know, surrender mm -hmm. 
breastfeed or let go or different point of view. And I get the heartbreak. I also get for the um the Republican, I get the five of pentacles. He doesn't have a whole lot of money um to to run his race, but the the people are seeing him as the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe we can he he can bring us more money. And then I see the Knight of Swords, which he's gonna come in and and save the day. So I have a feeling that this one is gonna flip to probably the um Okay. Oh, I'm marking it as R. Yeah. Unfortunately. That's unfortunate. He's a nice guy. Tim Kaine's really a nice guy. I met him when he was running the Democratic Party. Well, you better Party. get it together. Well, Virginia's a problem. And that state is just... It is. Youngkin's trying to do everything he can because he runs in two years. Yeah. And they shocked him when they took the legislature back two years ago. Yeah. He doesn't want that to happen. So he's fighting every dirty way he knows. Washington. Okay, Washington. Mm -hmm. Cantwell, Cantwell, Cantwell. Cantwell is the sitting person, and Garcia is the Republican who's running against them. There's some conflict around Cantwell, Cantwell, and I don't know that race at all. It's going to be close if and if Cantwell can hold on. Um, there's some conflicts that have come up around Cantrell's time there. And supporter of compassionate and intuitive feelings. They're very well liked by the people. and But there's been some heavy burdens on them during the time they've been in there. And this person has a five of swords. They'll win. They're going to try to win no matter what they have to do can't mess with the voter rolls too much there because it's mail-in ballot uh perseverance garden they persevered but they've got damn this place sucks as their out card so i think it's gonna be really close okay i get the i get the charity so when the charity throws it gets up it's like it's like they give it to him because he's a democrat they, that charity that Mm -hmm. there is some problems like there's a moon and then there's a tower so there is some problems behind yeah it. i've got conflict gardens on heavy burden so but so i do for the republican the republican i get the reversed ace of wands so that is poor timing and delay and lack of confidence there's a lot mm -hmm. going on with him I also see the fast movement like the, he he rises to the occasion and then he falls fast mm-hmm and then I get the nine of cups, which is, you know, it's luxury, generosity, or proud, or your happiness and satisfaction or comfort or something along that lines. But I don't think mm -hmm. it's a win of the, I don't think it's the win of the, of the seat. There's something else that comes his way. Maybe he gets more votes than he thought, or maybe, you know what I mean? I'm not sure. Anxious, this one's a this toss up. Anxious. Yeah, this is a toss up. They're anxiously stressed out, and there's high priestess stuff going on in the background. Yeah. So this we is don't a have the information. It's going to be a watch. That's a tough one. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. a race to watch for sure. Okay. I'm putting it. I'm putting it that we came out with equal cards because both of them sucked. Yeah. <clears throat> West, West Virginia. Virginia. Elliot and is the Democrat, and Justice is the Republican. And I know very little about, like nothing about either one of them. You know, West Virginia went uh, blue, right? I don't know. Because that's where What's-His-Face comes from, right? Which What's-His-Face? <laughs> the, the, um, the guy, the, oil, the one that, I can't think oh, of. Oh, that was, uh, yes, the idiot. The one that was selling everybody out as fast as he yes, could. Yes. Was... Yeah, well, they could Yes. So we're going to do the Republican first. I mean, the Democrat first. Yeah. And then we're going to... Mansion. Mansion, that's right. Mansion. So West Virginia has actually been blue for quite some time, especially with Mansion. Um... No, but he's never been blue. He's a Republican. Know, when but... he ran, he got in as a Democrat and he stayed there. He actually 
uh, became an independent towards the end of his time there. I know we all know his story, but what I'm trying to say is West Virginia is blue and Manchin was a Democrat. However, he would, he, he ran it closer to the Republican side of the situation. So I'm wondering if West, if they're going to pick the Republican versus because of Manchin. Well, I've got that the Republicans going to win. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually kind of 50, 50, but, um, the Democrat that's running had thought mm -hmm. they had, they start with the four of swords. They've been kind of isolated from, because Manchin never went out and politicked. I mean, he hasn't built a party up there. Nothing to do that. Starting Stable Avenues, he didn't have a good start because he didn't have a group to start from. And it's been the darkest before the dawn reversed, which could mean they're coming out of the darkness, but I don't think so. Because what I got for the R was waiting patiently Avenue. That's somebody who's been there waiting for this, waiting for Mansion to leave. And the people are kind of mentally stuck in what's going on. There's no party there. And this is the hangman is reversed, which means for me, this guy's going to move forward. I just don't feel that. Elliot's gonna make it. I'm gonna mark it an hour for me. You tell me what you think. And well, I, at first I got the the six of swords, which said oh, okay, well, he's moving on. But it says, but they, but the the cards here like turbulence to calm. He's he's touting they they want the calmness. They want the the drama to go down. So the turbulence to calm. So that's what his campaign I think is about. And then I get the rest and the recovery. I think mm -hmm. he's like the recovery, but I also get the uh, four of wands, which is marriage and celebration. So those, those two first cards are like, Oh, but they also mean he's saying recovery and stuff like that. Because what I got there, the people are really, I got the two of cups for the Republican, the loving reunion, the attraction, they are very attractive, but he's showing his butt. I got the devil. Yeah, well, they card. may have tied him. They may have figured out he's tied to the evil money. Yeah, and the yeah, the hermit, like the the soul searching. They they they're they're starting to really. He's exposing himself somehow. Mm. So maybe, like I said, I do get the loving reunion. Like they are attracted to this Republican guy, uh, but I'm not sure he's going to win. Mm. Because they're starting to see his devil evil ways. Well, that's one of our wait and see ones. I'll, yep. I'm putting that I saw the Republican. You kind of see it equal, so we don't have an answer. Yeah, yeah. We only have two more for those of you who are counting. Yeah, uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, which is Tammy Baldwin uh, against Hovde, and Hovde is the guy who really, literally flies in from his east. You know, he flies in from his home in California to come to the debates. He's never lived in Wisconsin and they really want to get rid of Tammy Baldwin and she almost wasn't going to run. And then they said, if you don't run, we're going to have real problems. But Wisconsin is now has ungerrymandered districts, which will help. Will help a lot. And my son's there working in Wisconsin. That also will help them a lot. Darkest before the dawn, starting in Stable Avenue and wearily defensive. Man, yeah, she's had to fight like hell for this. So, what's Guzzi getting? Oops, oops. Guess what? They saw the truth. They saw that he wasn't connected to their state, Hovde. They saw that he he didn't really belong there, and they don't, they're not going to change. They're not going to change. There, there, and there's been changes in that state that make it harder for him. So she had the darkest before the dawn. I think that's when she decided she wasn't going to run, and then they convinced her to stay. And she's had the ace of pentacles. They've given her all the money and support she's needed, and she's really defensive. She's still. I mean, they've screwed around in that state so many times. But I'm going to say I'm going to give it to the D. What do you see, my lady? 
I do. I give it. I'm going to give it to the Democrat as well. I got the good news, the message about uh, the money and the manifestation, the study. I also got mm -hmm. the Nine of Pentacles, which is you know constant for her constant effort and staying there, and then she gets the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, so she's she has that family wealth that they see, the family establishment. However, the Republican. There's a there's a significant amount of support for this Republican in that state. Um, it's not from the, you know what you're seeing. It's the financial billionaires are paying for him. Yeah, you know I mean? he he definitely has he has the hangman. So and then I had the hierophant, which hierophant higher money, and then I got the hangman on him him. as his out card. The what? I got the hangman for the I mean with along with death. So I yeah. don't think it's going to work. It's not going to. I don't think it. it's. I don't think he's going to. I. I do call it for for the Democrat. However, um, there's there's somebody's getting some the the money. People love this guy, mm -hmm. and that's what you're seeing on that. She's going to win the thing, but he's getting all of the glory from all of the um the money, the Republicans, and all of that. But they're weighing the pros and cons and uh, the abundance and quick cash. It's like quick, quick cash. It's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. Mm -hmm. The billionaires are not the, it, it can't, cannot win a race in that, mm -hmm. in that um, town. In that state. Not in that place. Okay. And then Wyoming. And of course, Sean went over there to help. So that yeah. makes all the difference in the world. Uh, Wyoming. Good luck it's, there. Barrasso is the the Republican, and he's an incumbent. And I think he, it's a he. And Morrow is the Democrat, and I don't know if it's a male or female. Democrat is not going to win. <laughs> hmm? well, that Democrat is not going to win in Wyoming. No, they're not. They're they're hung out to dry already, and the 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 Republican has all the money in the world and the right influences in the people, and they're seen as a more stable uh, competitor. Yeah, just because of the people that are around them. Wyoming is, is, it doesn't have very many people in it and the people that are in it, um, mm -hmm. are carrying hunting, you know, they, they're full, they fully believe that they're going to, I'm just putting that. I just, I'm not going to read my card, but that's exactly what it is. It's, it's, it's not a good scene. I think they're influenced heavily by the power brokers around them. Well, it's just and not figured out many people do there. things independently. Yeah. So I'm going to come back. There you go. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. I know um, some of them are long. And let me see if I can come back as well. He says, I hide, hide, show myself. There I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, gives you a little bit more insight of how it's going to possibly go. Uh, yep. count up, um, Nancy, count up how many that we found. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 24 of the 33 we saw going to Democrats and we saw we, and these are ones where we saw races kind of coming in even. Um, and actually, I gave Delaware to the, Sheila gave Delaware to the Democrat, but I saw it was even. But how many pure R's did we see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, um... We saw um, going to uh, Republicans straight out. 
and then there's some in there that we're we're not sure we couldn't really make a judgment on well does that give the the majority to the the democrats or no yeah but the democrats are also defending the majority of the seats that are are have someone in the in the seat or yeah. they're independent is because we've got um we've got king and we've got bernie both of which are independents that caucus with us so um there was there's this is how many republicans were defending their seats one two three four five six seven seven republicans were defending their seats and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 democrats were defending their seats and vote oh, down the ballot people all right thanks everyone okay thanks everybody for being here <laughs>